The Lucas Creek Stream Restoration Project is an innovative project that covers two kilometres of natural stream running through Council Reserve in the centre of Albany, Auckland. The project provides multiple benefits to the community, such as enhanced riparian ecology, water quality and increased amenity. It involves stream bank erosion mitigation, planting of 30,000 native riparian plants, building a walking track and viewing platform. The stream banks of the Lucas Creek are quite degraded. The stream has limited channel capacity and the riparian margins are choked with invasive weeds. Increased stormwater runoff as a result of urban development has caused severe stream bank erosion and is creating high sediment loads. We are using new soft engineering solutions throughout this project, many of which have not been used in New Zealand before. Our, our entire project has actually widened the stream bottom, pull back the bank, and then build lots of nice habitat structures in here. Our goal is habitat for aquatic organisms, uh, bank uh, macroinvertebrates, bank structures, uh, also to get the stream to function properly. We don't want it to, to flood so frequently. So uh, one of the ways we're going to do it here is we're going to pull this bank back a bit, but it's still going to be a very steep bank, and the, the uh, organisms also like to have an undercut bank. So we're going to do a, like an engineered undercut bank so organisms and fish can hide back under the bank. The goal here is to widen the stream, build a new bank that looks completely natural, but it's, uh, it's stabilized, it's been engineered, and then we'll work our way down. This is an outer bend, and then we'll work our way down and have an inner bend, which will be a very low floodplain. High waters come, and it'll flood out naturally out in the floodplain. Hi, I'm Paul White, Environmental Monitoring Officer for North Shore City Council. The environment here is rather sensitive, being one of the major tributaries to the upper Waitemata Harbour, going out into the Auckland Harbour, the Hauraki Gulf. With all works, you need to make sure that all the necessary controls are put in place. In this project here, they're adopting new methodologies, and as you'll be able to see, the methodologies used are actually working, and working a lot better than expected. It started out kind of slow the first couple of days, working out the erosion and sediment control. I think the biggest thing was the concept of damming up the creek, diverting the water through, uh, didn't work very well. Uh, we spent a half a day getting leaks in the dam fixed, running pipes and diversions around. There was still leaks. So we've developed a, a, a new strategy where we're gonna stay away from the creek and leave a little buffer between, do all of our earthwork through here, and then uh, we'll go in and pull those banks back, not even letting a clod roll into the stream. Um, with this, this cut through here, I've uh, worked out through the entire process so far down, down the stream, um, I've been, how I've been cutting the bank back, these banks have been really steep, and to get them to the level just above water level, um, I've been cutting them on like a 45, fast so I've got no material falling into the stream and it, it's worked really well. I haven't discolored the stream, dropped anything in it. it. Took a bit of trial and error to work out how we're going to do it but it works and it works really well. Behind me we're at the uh, upstream extent of the stream restoration works um, and you'll see the earth contouring here. The way it's done we've left a margin between the stream and the earthworks, and this way we can operate not working in the water course. So if we do get a downpour of rain, which we've had a few, all the water is contained and it doesn't enter the stream. The principal contractor, Dempsey and Wood, once they've opened up the site behind me, and as you can see, they've finished their earth contouring, they will move off and open up another site. That leaves it up to RST, the subcontractor, to come in and do their specialist work on the stream bank. Um, this way we can alter open up multiple sites and not leave any contractor waiting for the other. My initial thoughts were um, very challenging, nothing set to plan, so a lot of 
the shaping of this job is will be up to me. Pretty pretty exciting actually. Um, lifts my my skill level to actually make sure the job is done to a T. Nothing better than a challenge in a machine. A big concern of mine before starting this job was, was um, the stability of the banks, and um, we're very lucky at the moment that it, it, it's good clay to work off. Um, when you get close to a wetland area and you bring in heavy machinery, it's, it's, uh, it can be a no-go zone, so, and it can dictate the um, size of the machine, and which will also um, dictate the you know, length of the job. Working in this environment is, is very difficult, uh, making sure that the stream is protected and you're not pushing lumps of clay or soils into the creek and that, so there's a lot of thought. Um, I've looked at it in the short time I've been here and you know, I've had to think a lot on how I'm going to do it and attack it. Okay, along the bank we're removing the remaining vegetation, or most of it. There's not much left, there's only some, some old kanuka trees. And what we're doing is this one here, we're chopping them down. We're leaving maybe a couple of metres um, and the root wad and then we'll get the diggers, we'll pull them out with the root wads and we're going to use whatever vegetation we take out, we're going to use that back in the stream bed. The idea of a lunker is in flood water it gives it protection of the upper banks from the stream. We've done this, we've put a riffle up the stream and then the water comes down here and in the flood water this lunker protects the banks from erosion. It also provides habitat, puts woody debris back into the stream and also from an amenity side it looks like a natural feature. So this is another one of our soft engineering techniques. Riffles were structures placed in the long more uniform sections of the stream to reduce undercutting. The riffles range from 10 to 15 metres in length. The structures are built by placing washed clean rock within the existing channel. Rock riffles are an environmentally sensitive grey control structure that is used to ensure that future bank erosion will be reduced. These structures also provide pool and riffle habitat. Wattle socks were used at the toe of the banks to capture any sediment from running into the stream. The bare soil was mulched with hay or compost and hydroceded to secure the banks until planting. The wattle socks were used where we would normally be required to install a silt fence. The advantage of the sock is that we can leave the socks in place and do not have to remove them as they will break down within a couple of years. So this is one of my favourite parts of the project is ripping this culvert out. As you can see, we've just ripped it out and now we're going to reshape the wetland, raise the water level a little bit and then later on we'll plant the wetland species. Basically like the big thing on this job was the fact that we're working so close to the watercourse here and you can see we've taken a lot of earth out here and we've left a sort of a margin with some erosion control measures such as our fine gravels and that to collect the silts that are going to come off here and you see how clean the stream's still running, there's nothing. Beautiful, pristine. We've got a high impact point on the bank of the stream here, and what we're aiming to do is use bioengineering to strengthen it up. We've got our rock toe and our root wads, and the purpose of these root wads is the water will flow in, and over time, just undercut under and leave a bit of a habitat for fish and your eels and whatever else chooses to live under here. And the purpose of that is because it's a um, basically like a high flow corner, and we get to have a lot of forces impacting in here. We'll lay our sock on, on top of it. It's a compost filled tube with um, either pre-impregnated grass seed or we can then plant through with native plants which I think is the, uh, the aim on this job. So now we're looking at a finished product of a living wall and you can see over here the planting's now been done. The stream is starting to move through till it's full wetted width and uh, create its channel and uh, we have some uh, root wads down here that are uh, creating directive flow and you can see where the stream is now leading it's starting to bed in nicely 
and uh, give it another 12 months time and the uh, planting will take over and the uh, structures will sort of disappear into the background.